Hey guys, how are you doing? It's been a while, so let me introduce myself. If you're new here, you probably know me from this. And if you're not new, you probably know me better from this. I will break you into pieces. So now that everyone probably remembered, oh, that's why I subscribe. Let me continue. If you follow me on any kind of social media, you know that I have been working on Stick Fight, the game, the animation, part two. And that working on it has been hard. And that also life has been kind of hard. And also my channel is dying. Oh my god, I need therapy. So yeah, safe to say I've been a little bit burned out. And for now I will be resting a little bit. But uh, in the meantime, if you want to check out how much progress I've already made. Uh, I am already halfway through with the sketch. And I know that after that I'll just be able to do in-betweens. And I won't have to think as much anymore. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description below. In the meantime, I made a little bit of a speed draw for the time being, uh, which I hope you will enjoy. I made a character that is based on many different things. I based her off of the design of She-Ra, uh, which is a series I uh, very much enjoyed and I would absolutely recommend you checking it out. And also, as you can probably tell, she is a little bit of a self-insert character. Uh, she looks a lot like me um, and at the beginning she was also just m meant to represent me <laughs> uh, She she's me. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. She she's me uh, But the the sword and the shield she is carrying uh, also uh, has a little bit of a cultural significance to me uh, because they are based off of uh, the weapon of a local hero uh, From the place that I come from his name was Grutepir I think he is a very interesting fellow from uh, the place that I come from, uh, which is the province uh, Friesland, uh, which is located in the Netherlands, uh, right at the top. And uh, yeah, I'll be going to tell you uh, a little bit about uh, the history of uh, Grete Pier and what was going on. So, Pier Gerlofs Donia, who was born around 1480, and died the 28th of October in 1520, uh, was a Frisian rebel leader and a pirate. He is best known by his West Frisian nickname, Grote Pier, as I said, uh, which means Big Pier, which referred to his legendary size and strength. Okay, so I changed my mind. I'm not going to tell you all too much about like the exact history of this guy. And if you want to look it up and read more about him, uh, I'll leave a link for you in the description uh, to his uh, Wikipedia page. However, uh, he does have some very interesting things. He, uh, the, the sword that this character, aka me, is holding is based off of his great sword, which was uh, like literally bigger than he was <laughs> and he is already like a pretty pretty big guy it was a, a two-handed sword and there was some kind of war going on again i don't know too much about history and wars and all that stuff but there was a war going on and to identify the people that were on his side uh, he would have like a little verse that you should be able to repeat if you speak his language. So he would say, Boete bree en green het sies, al wie dat net sies ekenne, is geen op rochte vries. Which means, butter, bread and green cheese. If you can't say that, you're not a real Frisian. Now, imagine you are the enemy arriving at his pier with your little boat, just minding your own business. Now, if you weren't the enemy, you could have just understood him and said, yeah, butter, bread, green cheese, go fuck yourself and carry on with your day. However, if this was nonsense to you, you were obviously one of the enemies and he would grab his big greatsword, his big two-handed greatsword, lift it up and chop off your head right then and there. What a great guy. So obviously this is a guy with many legends and stories attached to him. For example, one story says Pierre plowed his land by pulling the plow himself instead of using horses. Which is, if you ask me, I mean, that's just, you know, pr more practical. <laughs> I mean, if you're able to do that anyway. Another story states that he was able to lift an entire horse above his head. Because of course, 
Also, before he became a hacking pirate and fought in the war like a fucking boss, you should also know that before all of that, he was just a regular farmer. So one day, five guys who thought they were the absolute fucking shit, they went to ask this farmer who was plowing his land with his little horsey where they could find this great peer and see if he is so strong as people seem to claim. The farmer looked at the five guys, detached the plow from his horse, picked it up and pointed to his house and said, there's where he lives. Then he hit himself on the chest and said, and Great Peer, he's standing right before you. He grabbed his plow and hit all five of them to the ground, telling each and every one of them, fall. Which is why the place is still called Fever Fall or Five Fall. I'm sure there's many, many more stories to tell about this guy, but again, just look them up yourself. There will be a link in the description. And if you ever find yourself traveling to the Netherlands, I would suggest maybe travel a little bit to the north, to Friesland, and go to the Fries Museum, where the great sword of Grutpeer is still being displayed. And who knows, maybe you'll even walk into me. I wouldn't count on it though, I'm kind of a hermit. Now the shield is a whole lot less interesting, but still interesting in my opinion. I based the shape of it off of a figure from the Frisian flag. It's kind of like a heart shape, except it's meant to represent a pond lily. And in Frisian it's called Pumpeblad. Now if you happen to be Frisian yourself and you're hearing me say all these things in Frisian, you might think to yourself, oh, alright, but you don't sound Frisian at all. And you would be right. Even though I was born and raised here, I never really knew how to speak the language. I do understand it though, but I never really learned how to speak it. My mother, who does speak Frisian, told me it's because of my brother and because he has a learning disability. And she thought that teaching us Dutch first would probably be better. And so I never really picked up on it. But I do plan on learning it after this panorama is over. Furthermore, I hope you enjoy the rest of this drawing. See you later.
the whole world at our feet Watching seasons change Our roads were lined with adventure Mountains in the way Couldn't keep us from the sea Here we stand up in arms This is home where we are Ever strong in the world that we made I still hear you in the breeze See your shadows in the trees Holding on memories never change There once was a ship that put to sea And the name of the ship was the belly of tea The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down Oh blow me, bully boys blow Soon may the wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tugging is done We'll take our leave and go She had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Before the boat had hit the water the whale's tail came up and caught her All hands to the side harpooned and fought her when she dived down low Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go No line was cut, no whale was freed And the captain's mind was not on greed But he belonged to the whaleman's creed She took that ship in tow Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go she had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Before the boat had hit the water The whale's tail came up and caught her All heads to the side harpooned and fought her When she dived down low Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go No line was cut, no whale was freed And the captain's mind was not on greed But he belonged to the whaleman's creed She took that ship in tow Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go